All right, what do you say we have a look at the Diamond Select 2018, 25th, well, well, 25th anniversary of the Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. Pajama Jack with zero action figures. And that Diamond Select. I'm not sure what this means, but it says NBX dash or underscore Walgreens. Maybe exclusive to Walgreens, but nowhere else on there does it say that. And, uh... Of course, you know, local comic show, uh, shop uh, locator service there, which is interesting seeing how it's being sold at Walgreens. And it's a Disney licensed product. So anyway, what do you say? By the way, the box art on these things are really nice. You can see the figure, you know, from one, two, three, four angles of this box. And, uh, yeah. Let's get this out of the box and have a look. Alright. I got him out of his box. And I must say, I love the Zero figure that they came with this. This is an accessory that you can actually use. Real quick, I want to point out, previously I reviewed Lock, Shock, and Barrel. It came with a lollipop. Wouldn't fit in any of their hands. Wouldn't fit anywhere. I don't, I don't understand it. And then I reviewed the Pumpkin King. Came with a torch. His hands wouldn't hold it at all. They were like twigs. There no wire, no nothing. Couldn't hold it. So Pajama Jack here comes with Zero, which comes with his own base. This is something you could put on, displays, uh, on display and actually have Jack communicating with Zero. Very nice. So both of them come with identical display stands. And uh, I, I handled Zero to get him on the display stand. And he, he is really nice. We'll take a good look at him, too. I have not handled Pajama Jack here. One thing I see right away is the thin little fingers here. And we'll take a good look at that. Those things you're going to want to be very careful with. And, and the joints, just like the Pumpkin King, you want to be very careful with these joints. And as you can see, that neck pin speaks for itself. So, you know, you've been warned. I mean, you get pretty good rotation now. But again, it looks very, it looks like the weakest link. So, you got some, it looks like some wash in there. A couple of buttons painted there. Anything special in the hands? Nope, just stark white. And again, very, very fragile, so be careful. He's got some black night shoes on. These feet are even smaller than a pumpkin king. At least the pumpkin king, I think, was wearing cowboy boots. Yeah, and these are very, very tiny feet. They just keep getting skinnier and skinnier on the skeleton king, you know? So, yeah face looks good though. Nice nightcap. I got some strange rub there. I'm not sure. It feels rough too. Right there. Alright, let's go through his articulation. We looked at the head already. Be careful. I mean, you can get pretty good characteristics out of the, the posability here. So, that's nice. Yeah, that's actually quite nice. Careful with the shoulders, these joints are, ooh, they're scary. So go up, and rotate all the way around. Now the elbow. Not much. The two will rotate. And careful with the hands. Uh, not feeling, yeah, they will rotate. Hear that? You want to be very careful with that. You don't want to break anything off. Moving on down. See a pin and ball there. Let's see. We got a split in the nightgown here. With night shirt. Let's see. Yeah, I, I don't think that's uh, going to be a very usable joint there. Alright, moving right down. The knee will go 
that far back and uh, you got a rotation in the ankle but be very careful so yeah I mean I really like the figure I like the idea of um, the Nightmare Before Christmas figures but boy when it comes to the skeleton uh, Jack the Pumpkin King or Jack Skellington boy you got to handle this with kick gloves and, and that doesn't matter who manufactured it when it's just a very flimsy design and I know they want to stay scale you know so I get it we can get him set up to where he's looking kind of down at zero there you know I didn't talk about the display bases because I'm sure we've uh, seen these before but yeah this is a nice solid zero I think his head his head does turn it gives him a lot of characteristics other than just a piece of molded plastic you can get a lot of characteristic out of this uh, this little ghost dog very nice yeah I like this I like this dog I really do just need to make one more Jack throws a bone and he comes back with Jack's rib bone in his mouth. That'd be nice. Get this ported back on there like so. And uh, I have mixed feelings about these display bases too, by the way. You know, I like the idea that they give them to you, but they, boy, do they come apart easily at the joints. So, you know, obviously it's a... It's a necessary evil. But yeah, you know what? Again, if you're just going to set them on the shelf, which is what I intend to do, and after all, I'm going to go around on the floor playing on my action figures. I buy what I like. And I like the Pumpkin King. I really do. I like the whole story. If I can find more of these figures, I will be picking them up. In the end, I vote thumbs up on this figure. Diamond Select has done a nice job. They may have been out before. These might be reissues. But you know what? Hollow Wolf says, very cool. I've never owned them before. Until now. So, it's been my review of the Diamond Select 2018. 25th anniversary of Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. Happy spooking. <laughs>